I've been collecting movie star and TV star memorabilia for over 30 years at yard sales, garage sales, and flea markets, and some in person, and getting things like this. Very unusual stuff. Each one has a story. This is Tiffany Haddish's eyelash. She was doing a show. She was going to do a bit on the eyelash, tossed it down. I picked it up, and now it's part of my collection. Now, I have a buddy who shoots hoops with Tim Allen, all right? Now... Tim changes from his street shoes into his athletic shoes. And when he told me those are Tim Allen shoes, I took one. He called me up later, he said, did you take one of Tim's shoes? I said, I did. He said, why did you take both of them? I said, I only need one for my collection. I'm at a uh, yard sale in the valley and I find this bra. And it's got this note on it that this is Louis Anderson's autograph. And I asked the lady, she said her son is a fan of Louis and was on the set of baskets and had him sign this bra. Hey, listen, I've been doing this 30 years. I'm like a detective. I want to make sure it's real. I know Louie Anderson. I gave him a call. I explained the situation to him. Louie, did you sign a bra in the set of baskets? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I signed that. It was hard to sign the cup. Steve Wozniak. I had the pleasure of meeting Steve, Steve Wozniak. I asked for his autograph. And Steve gave me a stainless steel business card. I said, why a stainless steel business card? He said, because when uh, after 9-11, you couldn't cut your steak. In first class, they gave you a plastic knife. He said, I couldn't cut the steak, so I designed the stainless steel business card to cut the steak. Now that's genius. And there's his autograph. Now, I'm out in Las Vegas, and there's a lady. She's selling uh, this, it says, carrot stick, $20. I said, what is this carrot stick, $20? She goes, it's the comedian carrot stick. My daughter loved him, had him sign a carrot and put it in this to preserve it. Well, she means carrot top, of course. And the signature, of course, has been eroded, and it's just broken up the carrot. And uh, I gave her 50 cents. W.C. Fields. I'm at a memorabilia show. Guy won $600 for an autographed photo of W.C. Fields. And I went, hey, let's take a look at that. It's a fake. I'm like a detective. I know a phony when I see it. How do I know it's fake? They didn't have felt tip pins in the 1940s. I told the guy. He gave it to me as a gift. Lou Costello. Now, it was a legend that Lou Costello never read his scripts. That's a legend in show business. This is Lou Costello's personal script of Abbott and Costello Go to Mars. It is in pristine condition. It's never been, it doesn't look like it's even been read. So it's proof Lou didn't read his scripts. He's a bad boy. Jerry Lewis. I was a huge fan of Jerry Lewis. I had the pleasure of meeting him many times. And I got many collectibles, but the one I treasure is this glass. This glass, if those that remember Jerry used to do a joke on a lot of talk shows where we put the glass into his mouth. He even did it in a film called Hardly Working. And he takes the glass and he puts it in his mouth. How big was his mouth? I can't get the glass in my mouth. Last but not least, Lenny Bruce. This is a self-published magazine by Lenny Bruce. And this was... Uh, his mother gave this to me. There's her little inscription there. And this is where Lenny has no restrictions. He writes about what he wants. Now, the critics condemned him for being a toilet comedian. And in here you see pictures of him smashing toilets because it's their fault. There's a story behind every item. I have thousands of items.